right, so I have to tell you what, this is just an exciting day for us here on the Balancing Act. That's because a few months ago, the Balancing Act and Chicken of the Sea partnered to launch the Chicken of the Sea Super Cook Contest, a contest asking our viewers, that means you, to submit your favorite recipes using Chicken of the Sea seafood. Well, I have to tell you, the recipes, the pictures, the essays just poured in, showing how you can turn ordinary dishes into extraordinary meals that are healthy, nutritious, and of course, convenient. And we even met many of you firsthand at our Balancing Act Chicken of the Sea booth set up at several events all across the country. And I have to tell you, that grand prize, yeah, that definitely got your attention. We're talking about $10,000 in cash, the winning recipe on a Chicken of the Sea package, and an upcoming appearance on our show. Well, we are so delighted to have with us this morning, dun da 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 drum roll please, here to make her winning recipe, the grand prize winner of the Chicken of the Sea Super Cook Contest, Edwina Gatsby. Welcome, Edwina. Thank you. It's great to be here. And you have a fitting name. Edwina is a winner. Thank you you. <laughs> won the contest. How, how, how does it feel? I am thrilled. I really am. I wasn't home when I got my husband got the call telling me that I'd won. Yeah. And he gave me the message, and I thought he was joking. And I had to have him tell me a few times until it sunk in and I believed him, <laughs> so it's great. Are you serious, honey? Are you yeah, serious, honey? Exactly. <laughs> Grand prize? <laughs> exactly. But you know, it's interesting you say that because I know this isn't the first contest that you've entered or won. T tell me no. about that. And I really want to know your secret so that well, I can start entering them myself. The secret is there is no secret. Okay. I think it's just kind of getting in your kitchen and experimenting and it really helps if it's a product you use and know and love. And um, I grew up in San Diego and and chicken of the Sea was always in my pantry. And um, my husband and I moved to Montana. And um, not quite the restaurants and the seafood and the produce right, that right, San Diego right, had. Right. So um, we do a lot of um, just experimenting in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. If we feel like Asian, we, you know, get out the Asian ingredients and try and come up with something that pleases us both. And it's just, uh, I think, if you start with something that you really enjoy and your family enjoys and take it from there that's probably the best advice I can give you. Well you and your husband are an amazing combination because I know he's an award-winning prize-winning chef is. As, 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 as well. Home cook. Home cook. Yes. You guys are, are, are too much and the thing I always think about is when people win these contests how do they come up with what they're going to enter because I'm definitely a recipe girl if it's in a recipe book I can follow it but with something like what you're about to make for us today just thought about it. Just well, I think it's it. just um, putting a little twist on something. Okay. Like, I'm sure a lot of us grew up with salmon patties. True. And, you know, just um, putting a little twist on it, adding some Asian flavors or Latin flavors or whatever. Sometimes it's just taking that traditional and just giving it a little twist. Well, you certainly did that. So let's go ahead Thank and get you. started and make it. And uh, I want to make sure I get the name right because it is a mouthful, literally. <laughs> it's the Thai Sweet Chili, Chili Salmon, Salmon Sliders. Sliders. That's it. Yeah. All right. So what do we need? It doesn't look like we have a lot, a lot no, here. No, it's, it's harder to say than it is to right. make. So <laughs> we start with the Chicken of the Sea Salmon. Okay. And... Um, I'm sure you're familiar with dump cake recipes. I where am, where every, you just dump, dump everything, everything in. This is <laughs> dump sliders okay. recipe. Okay. And then we have a little lime zest. Okay. You can use lemon. You could even use orange. Okay. Just, just want that little that citrus little pop. Citrus, yeah. And this is reduced sodium soy sauce. Okay. It just gives it kind of a nice seasoning, that little bit of salt that yeah. you need. And what's and, next? Um, the green onions. The green we'll onions. With. Okay. And, and the kids, even though you're putting onions and it is a little bit exotic, the, the kids will eat it. Yeah, I think so. It's really kid friendly and it kind of exposes them to something new. And, True. and the sliders, they're fun looking and I think that kind of, you can get that salmon in and the veggies and yeah. they won't even notice. Yeah. And then this is cilantro. Okay, the cilantro. But if you don't like cilantro and some people don't, go ahead, use mint, basil, parsley. Ah, lots of great options there. And this is a good way also to get the kids to eat something and these are right. our panko breadcrumbs. Right. That we're put here, right. And if you don't have those in your pantry, just uh, take a piece of white bread and whirl it in your food processor for mm -hmm. just just love a few it, seconds. Love it, love it. I was saying that this is a great way to, to get kids to try something different. Sure, you know what I mean? Because sure. I have three boys under the age of nine, and oh. Edwina, I am tired of pizza, <laughs> <laughs> chicken nuggets, and macaroni and cheese. You know what I mean? And this is something they can help you make, and I right. think they'd enjoy doing it. Okay. You know, someone can stir, someone can hand the ingredients. Right. Oh. And this is the sweet love um, that. chili sauce. Love it, love it, love it. And it's just, just a nice little bit of heat, but it's sweet too which balances that right. so 
uh, once again, kid friendly. Yep, yep, and, and that's it. Just an egg your white. egg white, and, and you're done. That's you just, pour that in sure, that's just going to bind it all together. Okay. And this is one of those recipes. If you know you make it early in the day, cover it with plastic wrap, put it in the fridge, and when you come home. Then good, that's good what I would do. Pack. Do it in the morning. Go to work. You know what I mean? Every sure. mom will appreciate the fact that you could do that in the morning. Come back in the evening and make your patties. And I think the kids would really love actually yeah. You don't have to get your hands dirty. You can let the kids make do sure it. Their just hands make sure they're clean. Exactly. <laughs> you know how and the kids are. All you're going to do is just like you're making a burger or a uh -huh. meatball or something like that, just kind of pack it together. Okay. And uh, get it shaped. Just nice. Doesn't have to be perfect. And probably if you let it sit in the refrigerator a it little does. bit, it'll I bet help it would stay together it'll a little help bit. It firm up a little yep. that egg white yep. when it's cold. Yep. And then we're just going to put it in a nonstick pan. With okay. About um, normally we'd be making about six oh, with so this amount of oil, oil. Yeah. but go ahead and put that in. And okay. Cook that up. Wonderful. And then what we're going to do with our remaining. Uh, Thai sweet chili yep. sauce. You've got one that's already made here through the magic right. of television. Exactly. Wish I could do that at home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're just going to kind of glaze it uh -huh. as you're cooking it. Ooh, that looks so. And you could use as much or as good. little as you want. I love that. And we can get ready to plate oh. it up if you like. Absolutely. I'll help you with that. Okay. We're just going to put it on our little bun. It really and smells then good. Garnish it with. Oh, I was just going to start eating it already. <laughs> Anxious to try it. Just a little, oh, bit, of a little mango. bit of mango. Adds a nice sweetness and love that. kid friendly. And mm -hmm. then a little crunch with uh, cucumbers. And then you're good oh, to go. That looks amazing. Okay. I'm not the neatest eater That's in the world, but you know, <laughs> nobody's watching, right? Right. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That is really, real. I mean, really, that is. That's amazing. Good and easy. That's the best and part. And I can't believe how easy it was. It is. And I know my kids will eat this. It's got that little bit of spice, but not too overwhelming right. if they're not going to want right. it. That is so good. Well, you've been oh, so good. delightful oh, it's been today, great. and I really appreciate you being here with us. Can I take you home? Sure. All right, let's go. <laughs> well, let me read this first and you come with me, okay? <laughs> if you want to check out some of the other great recipes from the Chicken of the Sea Super Cook Contest, including Edwina's winning recipe as well as other great tips, be sure to check out chickenofthesea.com. I'm going to get back to eating now.